Hello, it's me. Let's do a quick recap of this week. First of all, SQC Inc.'s 70 million kick deal in non exclusive two year partnership. That is absolutely massive. On June 16th, uh, 2023, fans became convinced that XCC was living bit for cake after an account with his name suddenly received a sub button. Now, thanks to a report from New York Times, we know it's official as the user signed an exclusive uh, deal that has him bringing home more than $70 million. This is huge, okay? Before, when we had. Oh, deal live! Oh, mixer! Honestly, I thought it was a, a fad that wouldn't stick, and it didn't. Not even Facebook Gaming. But this, I don't know, I don't know. These guys have uh, literally infinite money. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Uh, the fact that it has also incentives that could push the total to about 100 million is absolutely insane. You can see here that it is comparable to LeBron James' level of contract. Impressive, absolutely impressive. And it's even uh, non-exclusive, so he can still uh, stream without a problem on Twitch and kick. This man is absolutely set for life if he doesn't gamble everything away, that's for sure. Also, Amroth also joins Kick in shocking move, as you can see, and now this woman is looking really black for Twitch, honestly. <laughs> uh, as far as we know, or as far as we don't know, honestly, because we don't know, <laughs> uh, she doesn't appear to have a contract, she probably does, but it's uh, not public yet. Uh, so yeah, she <laughs> left in the middle of uh, her Twitch stream, she was celebrating her 7th anniversary, I believe, which is absolutely uh, incredible, I don't know what to say. Nevertheless, this comes with some drawbacks, <laughs> as we see here. Kick us down, they claim they are receiving 50 times their normal traffic. Yeah, they're indeed suffering from success here. Also, they had a massive sign up these past days. Up to a million accounts, I believe. I don't have the, the numbers here, but yeah, incredible. And what is Twitch doing to combat all of this? Uh, uh, yeah, no, I don't know what to tell you. Twitch finally gives streamers 70-30 sub-split with new partner plus, but there's a catch. There's a massive catch here. Uh, back in September 2022, Twitch said that it would not be able to offer its streamers the sought after 70-30 server new split due to the high cost of running the site. Streamers revolted with some moving over to Kick or YouTube to take advantage of the uh, increased split on subscriptions, set as much as 95% on Kick. Twitch has uh, revealed the new Partner Plus program to give streamers a 70-30 star revenue split, but there's a catch to it. Yes, there's a catch to it. Uh, you need to have... Here we, here we go. 300... Blah, 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 350 recurring paid subscriptions for three consecutive... Sec, three consecutive, consecutive months. Holy crap! I don't know how to speak anymore. That means that Twitch Prime doesn't work, and gift subs don't work either. Uh, I don't think we have the the numbers here. Uh, once the once that happens, partners will be automatically enrolled for the next 12 months, and we should be below the subscription threshold during the 12 month period. And of course, there's a cap to it. Ah, it was up here. My bad. Uh, however, there's a catch to the program with a major caveat being that it's only going to be paid out until you reach 100k in revenue. Yeah, 100k is a lot. But why is there a cap though? Also, uh, as I said, I don't have the, the numbers on me right now. But there's only 8 
tiny, tiny, tiny portion of streamers that can reach these numbers. And there is about 2.5% of Twitch partners, not even of all streamers, Twitch partners. And they are already a tiny, 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 tiny percentage of total streamers. So yeah, this is a nothing burger. You have a lot of people, ooh, ooh, Twitch W, Twitch W. I mean, yeah, it's better than what we had before, but it's still nothing. They're just giving back something they took away. There's nothing to applaud here. There's nothing here. It's, at this point, I'm pretty sure this is damage control. Let's see how they fall, though. But Twitch is not the only site that is killing itself this week. Here we have Reddit. Once again, Reddit. Here's the note Reddit sent to the, to the moderators, threatening them if they don't reopen. Yes, that's what happens when you think you own your content, but you don't. Be careful with that voice. Uh, I'm not gonna go a lot through this article. But yeah, pretty much uh, the thing is, the owners are threatening, owners, administrators, all of that, I mean, they're threatening moderators to uh, remove them, to say it um, in a generous way, and put their own moderators if they don't reopen, which they can do. And also, we have here, Steve Huffman told George that we don't have problems with protests. No shit. These protests were absolute trash, honestly. If you're going on a strike, you don't tell everyone how long is it going to last. Also, 48 hours is nothing. I think it should have been, at the very least, two weeks. And don't talk about it. Uh, I don't know if we have the the quote here. I don't think we do. But yeah, Huffman confirmed he, mm, he's not going to roll back the API changes. And honestly, yeah, I agree. I agree. It's fair. It's fair. You don't have to cave in for the mob. But obviously, what I'm going to say is if you fuck around, you will find out. If the changes are absolute trash, and you don't want to see the trash, let them fall. Let them fall, I don't care. Also we have the best party I've ever seen. I think it's actually something that is happening, and I hate it. You have Rolling Stone. Outreach over Call of Duty LGBTQ Pride brings us full circle to Gamergate. Holy shit, what time is it? What year is it? Where are we? <laughs> Almost a decade ago, video game culture helped give rise to the quote-unquote anti-woke movement that continues to plague us today. Play? Okay, fine. Another day, another multi-billion dollar corporate giant in the crosshairs of the quote-unquote anti-woke right. This time, it's Activision Blizzard, the fifth largest video game firm in the world. And reactionaries are threatening to boycott. I mean, there are a lot of, of excuses to boycott Activision Blizzard nowadays. Be it games, be it their practices, be it their these practices too. I wasn't talking about just the um, allegations of abuse, but are important to, to be honest. Uh, yeah, we have. Now, the real drama of the week after the Nick Merckx, Nick Merckx bundle went on sale, when Kolchev, uh, through the apparent support of anti LGBTQ protesters who fought LGBTQ uh, supporters, holy shit, this is a world salad of Herculean proportions here. In Glendale, California, so the school board meeting of the recognizing Pride Month. Replying to esports broadcaster Chris Pocket, who shared a video of the chaotic brawl and tweeted, Let people love who they love and live your own life. Kalchev wrote, They should leave little children alone. That's the real issue. And it's true. 
right? And yeah, by the last day, Activision has removed the the product. Ba, 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 ba. The same right wingers who have literally bounced on Bud Light, Disney, Target, and Chick Fil A for efforts at expanding diversity and inclusion, fired up the outright machine to retaliate, with gamers announcing their intent to quit Call of Duty forever. I mean, are you going to defend massive corporations? You can, but uh, that doesn't seem like the best idea. Also, are you going to defend Activision Blizzard because, ooh, the right wing? Eh, I don't think that's a good move there. But yeah. But just even back down from the tweet saying a stream that he thinks LGBTQ identities shouldn't be discussed in school while arguing that the government wasn't anti-gay. Which is true. If you think that gay people are going for children, holy shit, that sounds homophobic as fuck. God damn! <laughs> Another bigger streamer with a custom uh, Call of Duty bundle, him the dead man. Real name, we don't care. Told that Kolchev was a friend and he therefore wanted his own product removed in solidarity. That's fair. I request uh, that Activision grant to. That's fine. The outrage campaign that Google took shape uh, around the incident mocked uh, Call of Duty as Call of Groomers. Yeah, we have Tim, Tim Pool being a man here. Alluding to the baseless, homophobic, and transphobic smear which holds that any discussion of queerness and gender with children is a pretext for pedophiles to prey on them. Why do you have to talk to literal children about sex? I don't think that is a good look, my guy. I don't think that. But yeah. We have lips of TikTok here too. The um, personal trending. We have, of course. <laughs> you guys don't know this is Gamergate. And I'm like, sure, why not? We have Jeremy here too, of course. We have <laughs> this, this part I fucking love. It's 10 out of 10, pure salt. <laughs> It's a useful case studying the projection that underlies the past decade of right-wing resentment. It is not right-wing, though. For all the times that that say claims liberals and leftists, leftists need the common comfort of safe spaces to operate in society, conservatives are the ones direct. Oh shit! I don't know how to read anymore. Predictably incensed by the appearance of anyone else on the cultural territory they claim as their own. Beer, big box stores, fast food, amusement parks, and naturally video games. No, it's about ideology. It's not the same. And most of them, actually, about protecting children. It doesn't look that good, Rolling Stone. I don't know still how Rolling Stone is talking about this. Yeah, subculture and whatnot, but why would you do that? They're cocked. They're absolutely cocked. And this one is no self-awareness in any way, shape, or form. It's amazing. Moreover, the anti-LGBTQ activists must know that this is a fight they can't really win, except as a small and seething political class that tries to oppress and intimidate the larger, more tolerant whole of the country. They are so close. They are so close to understand. You can say both sides bad, and that is not entirely wrong, but there is one side that is clearly um, activists trying to intimidate the larger, more tolerant whole of the country, and you could say the entire first world. And they are not who you think they are, Rolling Stone. Eh, sad to see. And lastly we have Netflix. Finally, the first trailer of the One Piece adaptation. I'm not a big fan of One Piece, so I don't have strong feelings about this yet. To be fair, the trailer doesn't look bad. I'm impressed. It looks way better. I'm not going to play it because they're probably going to murderize my ass. 
and I won't, don't want that. But there are a couple of shots here that are kind of cool. I don't like the actors though. I don't like them. But we have here the huge ass sea serpent. Looks okay. I'm impressed. Doesn't look bad. That's really good. In general, I don't know why. Maybe it's because ooh, pirates. But this looks a lot like Pirates of the Caribbean to me. But with better colors. Uh, I don't like Nami. She's nerfed. I understand that she's nerfed. But I don't know. Maybe it's the eyebrows. They look weird. And third there, we have Luffy, which looks okay. Better than expected. I don't like Sanji either. Maybe it's the eyebrows again. I don't know. It looks like a really low quality wig. And that is probably his hair. A little bit sad. I have a bunch of scenes here. Yes, I don't know why, but it kind of looks like a woman. It's a guy. It's a guy, but damn. Uh, Japanese people in Twitter were praising this use up, so probably it's actually really good. And we have here the last part of the trailer with the Gomu Gomu Pistori. And okay, we don't see much, but wow, it doesn't look like absolute trash. <laughs> Nevertheless, this is still Netflix. I don't trust them with anything. We've seen how the last live actions worked, right? Have we be but poof. Do we have to remember this note? I hope not. But yeah, this is pretty much um everything I want to talk about this about this week. This seems the most relevant or <laughs> love worthy to me. So yeah, this is going to be everything for me today. And I will see you soon. See ya!